have to check uh, what funeral arrangements. You know, it's Mark. The superintendent, what's his name? Mark, did you say? Superintendent Tom Barton is the one who directed it. Who sleeping last night? B-A-R-T-O-N. Did Bundy sleep at all last night? I don't know. As I said, he had someone with him at South Front most of the time, so I assume he did not get <laughs> any sleep. The uh, Methodist ministry game. Yeah. Slight tensing of the body and his hands uh, uh, were clenched somewhat. The funeral home that you just asked about is the Williams Thomas Funeral Home in Gainesville. How are other prisoners? We have another witness, Bob. Is there another witness, Bob? We have another witness here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me. It was on for about a minute. It was interrupted after about one minute of the cycle. Was that enough? Was that sufficient? He appeared to be making some eye contact with people when he first came in. After that, he, he bowed his head uh, after he was strapped into the chair. Who was his last visitor? Oh, yes. He was very close uh, proximity to all the witnesses. I understand you might be releasing a tape, a tape he had with a psychiatrist. Was going to just release that tape? I don't have any uh, details on that. That would not be released for us. Bob, who was his last visitor? Was it the minister? Uh, yes, I would have to say the Methodist minister was his last outside visitor. Was was his last Fred Lawrence of Gainesville. No, he was with the Methodist minister for most of that time. Is the executioner a volunteer job? Is that, is that a volunteer job? No, the executioner is paid. Did he ask the minister or was he uh, it's not, it's not. I can't comment on the selection process for that other than to say that uh, our executioners were chosen when a series of ads were run back in 1979. We were still operating from that list. All executioners remain anonymous, and we will not right, say anything that would help you identify. Is there any comments from the governor's office? Do you know? You can check with them for that. When did we get the word from the, when the Supreme Court uh, rejected the final? He received word about midnight last night. I believe he received a call from his attorney, Polly Nelson, and they said he was visibly shaken when he received that word. Can you turn it over to the And here as lawyers ever raised the sanity issue. I don't know. That's not in my area of expertise. How are the other prisoners in Cuba? Any, any disturbance? Or, uh... No reports from there. Everything appears to be normal in the prison. The execution cycle was stopped after one minute. Yes. Why? Uh, it normally is stopped uh, when it appears that sufficient voltage has been applied. The people inside the execution chamber uh, trip a switch that stops the cycle. Appear, this is I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Who was your decision then to check in and The physician who uh, made the final pronouncement was Dr. Frank Kilgo. He's chief physician at Florida State Prison. Now, now. Now. Who's building is it? There's a Q-Wing. It's the uh, large, light green colored building behind me. Uh, it has about eight or nine wings jutting out of it that you can see there, I think. The end wing is Q-Wing. The one that juts out the very far end from the administration building. Bob, is there any words Yes, sir. Bob, would you describe in words as general demeanor? Was he calm? Was he apprehensive? Or was he shaking? Who were the other witnesses besides the 12 reporters and Representative Packard? I'll hand out a sheet on that for you. There are various people. Some of them uh, have been associated with this case since uh, early on, back in 1979-1980. Uh, one of them was a forensic uh, examiner. I can't tell you the rest of the people. I do have a list here I'll be able to hand out to you, though. Did he throw you in any way today, Bob? No, he did not. Were you one of the witnesses on the District 12? Oh, yes, I was there. That's all they said. That's all they said. I think that this has gone on too long for them, and it has to be very painful. Every time there's an article, every time there's a picture of Ted Bundy in the paper, or their daughter in the paper, it has to be a very painful experience for them. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Can I get your name again? My name is Randy, R-A-N-D-Y, Mackie, M-A-C-K-E-Y. Uh, and you are the state attorneys? No, I'm an elected state representative. Uh, 
of the 12th district, which includes Columbia County and Lake City area. Can you describe, Mr. Mackey, the, the final moments as you saw Ted Bundy being being led into the room? Well, he was, as he was led into the room, he was visibly shaken. He needed assistance. Uh, his face was very drawn, but once he was placed into the chair, they began to place the straps around his leg and his arms and his waist. You could see him regain his composure at that time, and that's when he started to make eye contact with those sitting in the room across from him through the glass. How bad was his composure as he was being brought in? He was visibly shaken. He had to be carried. I don't think he could have made it into the room on his own without that help. And were there any, any other words uh, besides... He, yes, he asked, in his last words, they uh, placed a microphone and asked him would he like to say anything. He said, yes, give my love to my family and to my friends, which I thought was somewhat odd because look at all the family and the friends that will never be able to give or receive that love due to the murders that he has carried out over the years that he had been out. So are you, are you satisfied now that the justice has been done? I'm very satisfied that justice has been done. I'm just disappointed that it has taken this long to carry it out. And do you think that a change is needed in the law? I think a change is very much needed in the law. I think everyone should have due uh, process as far as the law is concerned, but it should never take 11 years to carry out. I think this should, could have been done easily into a you know, four or five year time, and that would be much more realistic. And what do you think should be done to the Ted Bundys of the world? I think uh, what should be done to the Ted Bundys of the world is what you saw here today make the streets much safer for the rest of us. I think I was asked a question earlier, how could I be such a proponent of the death penalty? I would much rather see a Ted Bundy put to death than all the young ladies who did die as a result of Ted Bundy living. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. If uh, I thank you for being so gracious and talking to all of us, this is for tonight's evening news, and we're just uh, wondering if are you okay now? Yeah. Give us your name first. My name is Kenneth Boatright. How do you spell the last name? B o a t r i g h t. And Boatright, just like a boat ride. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do, sir? I retired a couple of years ago from the Florida Highway Patrol. So you're but a private citizen. I'm a private citizen at this point. How would you describe what you saw? With the, uh, the execution? The execution. Uh, a very dignified uh, carrying out of a death penalty. I mean, I'll go back to, to try to start from the, the front if you'd like, yeah. and then you can cut out what you don't like. But uh, when Mr. Bundy entered the room in which the electric chair is, the witnesses and the news, and everybody, the people that were there were already in, inside. Uh, to me, when he walked in, that might have been a little something you didn't expect. He, he seemed to be just a little surprised that those people were there at that point. And uh, just maybe just a little shaken, but he, he was sat down in a chair and uh, he seemed to me to completely regain his composure. He uh, did look down, and some of the others were asking about him looking down. He did look down, but to me, I, I believe he was looking down at the man that was tying the, the strap on his leg. I don't believe he was uh, wanting to avoid eye contact yeah. because he, he did raise his head, and he did make eye contact with people in the room. Uh, he acknowledged some of the people in the room when he had the microphone. And then he said he had no more to see. And about this time is when the uh, sheet veil or whatever you want to call it goes over the front of the face so you can't see his face anymore after that point. And uh, the... I heard he clenched his fists. Or... He was... Even before the... Uh, before the execution started, when he sat down and when they uh, buckled his... When they buckled him up, he did his fist like that, but he kept the index fingers out on both index fingers. This is the way it was, he said. And he said that way all the time. Those fingers never moved. Now, I think probably they clenched up a little more, but the position that they were in before the current is the position they stayed in. After seeing this, any second thoughts 
about the death penalty? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, uh, I think it's a very appropriate uh, penalty for crimes of this nature. Thank you very much. I think the witness uh, people will be, and I, I will too. Is there a number you can be reached at? Where, where, where uh, they? Okay, just let me know. Down. Okay, where, let me know. We're with ABC News, and I, I trouble you once again to tell us what, what you saw, what you can Okay. Uh, you're talking about uh, yes, from the time I got in? Well, Bundy was uh, brought into the room at uh, about uh, 7 o'clock, or precisely at 7 o'clock. Bundy appeared to me to be very resigned to his fate. He appeared to have uh, made peace with himself and with his maker. He uh, appeared to be prepared emotionally and mentally for what lay ahead. He uh, acknowledged the presence of several people in the room. He uh, sought out and made eye contact with his attorney, Jim Coleman, uh, with the chaplain, uh, acknowledged their presence, nodded to them, mouthed some words, uh, made eye contact with me, and. Uh, mouth some words. I can't tell you what he said. Uh, I returned the greeting and uh, when he was asked to make a, a final statement, he told his attorney and the chaplain to uh, share his love uh, with his friends and his family. A very brief statement. Uh, Bundy offered no resistance, appeared uh, very calm and very resigned. Someone had mentioned he had to be carried in. That's not true. That's not true. Not true at all. Uh, they are always brought in with a, uh, a wrist bracelet uh, with a handle attached and they cannot offer a great deal of resistance to that because as pressure is put on it, it binds on the wrist. And, uh, but Bundy offered no resistance whatsoever. Did he look scared? Nervous? He looked much calmer than I expected. This is the uh, second execution I had attended, and uh, the uh, the other execution, the the person to be executed, appeared much more uh, uh, nervous and uh, and frightened than Bundy did. I promised this lady a live interview. Yeah, Pardon me here. Yes, in the search and was the one that located the body. Uh, located Kimberly. You located the body yourself. Right. Well, I was the one that located. I had a lot of help. I won't take credit for it all. We. Are you a state trooper? Right. You're the one that first spotted her. Thank you. Right. Yeah. But was missing on February the 9th and was found on April the 7th. So without giving you much detail of what it looked like, you can uh, just pretty much imagine the, what was left there uh, because it was during some warm days. It was starting to be spring. And although when she went missing was in February, which is cool days, by the time we found her, we had had some quite warm weather. Uh, they was... Uh, not really a, a whole lot left there. It was not a situation where you, she could have been identified by facial, with somebody looking at the face. Were you searching for the body at the time? Yes, right. Uh, did, did you ever meet with her family? I did not know them prior to all this happening. I have come to know the family, particularly the father, uh, since this has happened. Uh, for he, he's in a business that uh, record business which tows vehicles for the highway patrol it puts me in contact with him on a pretty regular basis and I've come to know him quite well uh, I know the brother and the mother but not like I've come to know the father how do, how do you how do, how do you think he's uh, going to react to all this and how has he been in the past when Bundy's gotten stays and well it's it's been uh, frustrating to him and and I really until he got the official news today I really don't believe that he thought it was going to happen even this time and I'm sure it's quite a relief to him. It's been uh, like everyone else he's been pretty frustrated with uh, all the stays and the long drawn out process that has uh, occurred in the last several years. Yeah. No what? second thoughts in your mind that this is the right thing to do? No sir, none whatsoever. What? What, the, None whatsoever. what thoughts went to your mind when he went through your mind when he was actually executed? Did you think back to Kimberly Leach? Yeah, I, I thought back and, and felt like uh, justice had been done, but uh, I wondered if he really went through as much uh, as she really did prior to death. Uh, uh, it was just a satisfaction to me to know that it was finally over. Is this the first one you've 